All right, so we're gonna get started on removing this uh, water pump here as promised, and I'm gonna remove this, the top portion of this fan shroud first. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket on all these bolts across the top here, and on each side you've got one in the front of the fan shroud and then on the side of the radiator as well. So I'm gonna use a speed wrench, it's my grandfather's, and if you watched my videos before, anytime I have a chance to use uh, my grandfather's tools or something like that, I like to use them. So these things here are not in that tight, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that, but you could use a, a ratchet and extensions as well. So. Let's get started. All right, so I've got it all freed up here. Just got a couple of wires and you've got a vent tube here on this side that's got a clip. You can either release the clip or I'm just gonna pop the vent tube out through the bottom. These wires out of the way. See if we can get it out of here. Alright, so that gives us some room to work. And you can see these are plastic blades here on this fan. So we're going to want to use caution on removing this uh, clutch. And we'll get on to that next. All right, so next we need to remove this clutch fan. And um, what you need to do is you need to get a large wrench down on the uh, nut down here. And sometimes you've got to actually find something to uh, brace in between these uh, pulley bolts that are down here on this water pump pulley. Uh, but I've actually had pretty good luck. <clears throat> and I'm just going to use a... Uh, I'm just going to use a chisel and a hammer because I don't want to hit these fans. And I get a little crazy with the hammer sometimes. So I've had pretty good luck going this way. But uh, actually what I'm going to try is uh, since I have an impact hammer now, I think I'm going to give the impact hammer a shot and see if it'll break it loose a little faster. So I've tried a couple of things. This thing is just turning over. I've tried clamping the belt with vice grips. That still, that doesn't work. I'm going to try this screwdriver and this long pipe. I've got a couple of leather gloves on the battery here so I don't ground out on the uh, positive terminal. We're basically going to get this situated in between a couple of uh, bolts on the water pump pulley. And then I'm going to use that long handle to brace it and hopefully prevent the uh, pulley from turning. Let me get, put pressure on it here. Okay, let me get it where I need it and then we'll hit it with the hammer and or the impact hammer. Alright, so that's where we want it. We're not grounding out. Feels like it's actually pretty good. We might have just got it. Let's see here. I don't want to ground anything out. So let me get this out of here. That's it. Okay, that, believe it or not, was as much fun as it looked, right? All right. Careful with this, plastic blades. Good thing is the clutch feels nice and tight. There's no slop in it. And so I'm gonna test all this, like the idler pulley and this pulley here for all slop. There we go. Now I can remove my belt. And again, these are the, uh, these are the bolts that I was putting the screwdriver in against. I kind of had it like that. And then I just used that long pipe to go up here and rest on the battery, but I protected it with a couple of leather gloves so it wouldn't ground out. So, all right, work at it, you'll get it. Next, we're moving on to removing the uh, serpentine belt, and then we'll, uh, we can actually pull this pulley off, and then we can start removing the water pump. All right, we're going with the uh, 10 millimeter socket again. Yeah, I left the belt on just to give it a little extra tension. You want to go through that again. Let's get them all broken loose and we'll take the belt off here. Okay. All right, so this tensioner basically uses a 3 8 inch drive. And you could use a ratchet, but a breaker bar obviously isn't going to strip out on you. And you can make your job easier 
by using a pipe if you want. And there we go. Okay. Pay attention to the belt routing if you don't have your belt route chart. That's a shout out to Jamie. So check this belt out. You know, we don't want to put that back on. Might uh, keep it as a spare or something, but I don't think it's much good for anything. So, all right, let's keep going here. We'll remove the water pump next. All right, so we'll finish taking these uh, pulley bolts out here. So we want to keep that because we're going to put that on the new pump. Okay, so you are going to lose some antifreeze. Um, obviously, this has been this has been leaking out the weep hole. So when I got it, it basically only had as much antifreeze in the radiator in the system uh, up until that weep hole, right? So if you're leaking antifreeze from the center of your engine, kind of back from the radiator, it could be a hose. Uh, but there's a weep hole on these and it kind of is an, it's an indicator as to when this pump needs to be changed out. So I'm going to put a catch pan underneath here uh, and I'm just going to throw that disclaimer out. If you've got animals, dogs especially, you know, they like the taste of this stuff and it's toxic to them. So uh, if you're doing it outside on the ground, try to get as much of it as you can, you know, to be uh, environmentally friendly, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put this catch pan under. We're going to start removing these hoses. Alright, so you definitely want to pay attention to if your hoses are all um, cracked or swollen. Uh, now is a good time to change them because you've got everything out of the way, right? That's probably not going to come right off from there. So we're going to wait until we get the pump out. Let's get this one down here if we can. Just gonna try to get the clamps out of the way, and sometimes you've got to take a screwdriver if they've been on here for a long time. Okay, this one's gonna be easier to get from the top, I think, and then I can pull up on it. Okay, set that aside. Check it out. It is swollen, but it's not too cracked. I may just pick one up, anyways. Okay, so you can see, or maybe you can't see, but I'm basically draining out the antifreeze. It's quite a bit, because it's going to basically come down to that level, and then when I move the hose, you know, we'll lose a little bit more, but this is why you want to have a catch pan or something. So I'm going to let that finish, get that hose off, and then we'll start removing these water pump bolts. that all right this is probably going to be a two-part video too because I don't actually have my water pump in yet I've ordered it uh, but also I want to keep the uh, the time down a little bit so let's go ahead and start taking this thing off so this will be the water pump removal and we'll have a, a second part to this which will be the water pump installation so one more hose right here One, I might just wait till I get the pump free. Let's see if I can get it off of there. Not much room, so I'm gonna wait and see if I can break that pump free, and then I'll be able to pull that hose off there. All right, so uh, 14 millimeter on these larger bolts here, and I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use the impact only because uh, the first time I used the uh, air toy it. Was unsuccessful, so let's see if uh, put it to work. You can obviously use a ratchet, and might need an extension. All right, pretty long bolts.
All right, water pump is out. When the new one comes in, I'll do uh, part two of the water pump installation video. And uh, we'll put it back together. I'm going to clean up the uh, gasket surfaces on the uh, engine. So they have a nice seal back here. Get all the grease and debris out of it. And uh, we'll be back in action and ready to put it back together. I need to get this hose off, obviously, also. But my battery's dying. Thanks for watching. I'm going to say right here, click right here for... Uh, Part two, water pump installation. Obviously that won't be up until I get the water pump in. Thanks for watching. Leave questions and comments below. Take your time. You can do it.